talking about this stuff here. This is uh, Trader Joe's Organic Fair Trade Honduran to Medium Roast Coffee. This stuff is uh, like around 14 bucks a can over there at Trader Joe's, which is pretty good, you know, considering this is Trader Joe's anything right here. 14 bucks for one of these cans of whole bean coffee is pretty good. It's a uh, medium roast, medium dark roast, excuse me. It says smooth and well balanced on the can. 100% of Rabica. If you know anything about Trader Joe's, you know that odds are they probably either own outright a couple of bunch of little farms over there somewhere on the mountains in the Makala region or something, or they got some kind of a fair trade deal agreement going with some of the farmers over there. They're just, they mainly supply Trader Joe's, and that's how Trader Joe's works. You know what I'm saying? They, they are the suppliers, you know what I'm saying? And they pay a fair price for it, and they treat all of the people down there in South America really fair about it, the whole deal, and it's really good coffee, you know what I'm saying? And, and so, what they do is they produce the best beans they can for Trader Joe's brand. And uh, if you ask me, I like Trader Joe's coffee. It's really good. A lot of the flavors come through that they're talking about. This one here. This one is like kind of flowery, a little florally. It's got a lot of dark under earth undertones. You know I'm saying the beans were when the beans when we had some, right, the beans were dark, really dark, and they were oily and they looked really had a really nice sheen and they ground up really nice. And the whole aroma thing was flowing with it. And so as we got to drinking it, you know what I'm saying? It, in the beginning, it looks like ground. Yeah, Mark, Mark just brought out the last of the grinds of it right here. In the beginning, what it looked like, it yeah, it was light. In the, in the beginning, what it looked like, you know what I'm saying? It was really some really good, and it has a, it has a really great aroma to it. You know what I'm saying? It's got this earthy color to it. It looks like I'm trying to hold it for the camera to see it. And uh, grinds up really nice. I mean, this I like a lot of Trader Joe's, you know, fair trade coffee that come in their cans. It's worth me paying 14, 15, 16 bucks for one of these size cans because it lasts me and Margaret at least a good week in our little Hario. And, and we just go with it, huh, babe? Yes. And when we found a few that we've liked, and we like this one. This one has a really florally light overtone at the top, and but it has all underneath it, it has all of those dark, robust flavors of the medium dark roasted arabica bean it does these this one here is this the fucking bomb <laughs> oh yeah i can we drank we drank this stuff in three days this whole can we drank in three days that's how good it was to us but we like these kind of medium bodied you know to dark bodied copies probably uh, but anyways if you get the chance, give it a try. I mean, if, if, if you go down to Trader Joe's, you already know about this stuff. You know this stuff is good. You're just kind of off about paying the price for it. Well, you know what? For 15 bucks a can, you know, what is this? This one is a 14-ounce can. 15 bucks for a 14-ounce can. If you can end up with a really cool container to store the coffee beans in when you're done with it, it's well worth the money to you and me. If you're an everyday coffee drinker, you're going to drink it anyway. Right? If if you only drink one or two cups, you hit it yourself in the morning, then this stuff's got enough flavor and it's got enough it's got enough vitality that you throw it in your little thermos and drive your way to work, you're gonna you're gonna love yourself when you get there and you got a hot cup of this stuff from the microwave. Home babe. Trader Joe's, Honduran. Might give it a go. You'll like it. Thank you.